I'm here with Lance Lee, the head women's tennis coach. What would define a successful first season for you? Um, of course, a season above 500. I think we were several wins above 500 last year, so I'd like to add on to the win tally. But more importantly for me, I define a successful season as getting to know each girl on an individual uh, level, finding out you know, what her strengths and weaknesses are and being able to strengthen the strengths and obviously turn the weaknesses into uh, not major weaknesses, if not a strength. Um, I think uh, in an individual sport like tennis, the fact that we can be a team and come together as a team uh, makes college tennis really important because there's no other time in a tennis player's life that it is about team. It's always about the individual because it's an individual sport. Um, so I would define a successful season as, again, getting to know the girls on a personal basis and coming together as a, as a true team. What do you think your biggest challenge will be this season? Uh, biggest challenge? Whenever you're dealing with a team, a team of women, men, uh, that are used to being individuals, it's difficult to put the selflessness, or excuse me, the, putting the self themselves first and getting them to understand that it's about the team, that's always a difficult thing to do. Um, coming in, I know the women have had several coaches in the past couple of years, um, so they're used to different teaching styles. I think um, just getting the girls acclimated and used to my style of teaching um, is going to be, I wouldn't say a challenge, um, but it's, it's not going to be easy whenever change is never easy, and they've, they've had a lot of change over the past couple of years, so hopefully uh, with me planning on being here, not just for this season, but for many seasons to come, I can provide some stability and, you know, I, I think that's one of the main things. Also, you know, time, um, time management, not just for the student athlete, but for a coach like myself who um, does have other commitments. Uh, time is always a challenge, but it's something that I'm looking forward to and I know that I can uh, handle. So what are you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to actually seeing the, uh, the women compete. Um, they were in their non-championship season, so I only saw a couple of matches last year. And at the time, I was a new coach for the men, so my focus was primarily on the men at that time. Um, so now I'm 100% focused on the women and really looking forward to uh, getting in a match situation. You can play as many practice sets and as many games and drills as you want, but in, unless you're in the, in the heat of an actual competition, um, you don't really get to see uh, uh, an individual's true game. So I'm looking forward to see what they do in a match situation under some real pressure. Second year number one singles player Isabella Espinosa returns for her sophomore debut after being named CACC Rookie of the Year in 2010. What are your goals for her this season? Um, I'm really just looking to build on what she began last season. Um, I really think there's not too many people in the conference that, you know, are playing at the level that she is, so I, I want her to win the matches that she should win. And when we go up against a Concordia or a Queens, I want her to be competitive, and if she brings her A game, who knows what can happen. She's got great racket head speed, she moves very well laterally. Um, we're going to work on her vertical movement and getting her more aggressive, but she's got tremendous defensive skills. Her first serve is solid, she's got a good second serve, her volley, she can volley, she's got a good all-court game. Um, and she's a fighter, I never really see her give up. Um, she brings a positive energy uh, to the court. And I just really love what she's doing. I just hope to see more of it. What kind of veteran leadership will your upperclassmen provide? Um, I think they've not, I'm looking forward to what they will provide. But I think, uh, again, as me as a new coach, uh, the two seniors have already provided um, an extraordinary amount of value just as far as showing me the ropes, um, forms, what to do, what not to do, um, helping me get in contact with all the other girls. So. Uh, Steph, um, I'm looking forward to uh, continuing to do what she's been doing as far as uh, someone who can guide me when I need some guidance on some do's and don'ts. And, and Brittany has also been extremely helpful as far as rallying the girls together. Um, so I'm, I'm very excited about the senior leadership that, that we have and I think they'll work together uh, tremendously well. Who do you think your toughest opponent will be for this season? Um, you know, it's funny, I asked the girls at, uh, at yesterday's practice, and I think it's along the same lines as the men. You know, Concordia is just a powerhouse in our division. Um, they recruit internationally very well. Their coach has been there, I think, for, you know, 
20, 30 plus years, so he knows the system very well, and he's got a pipeline set up at these international um, clubs where he re he's recruiting from. And I also know Queens is really tough. Um, I'm, I'm really big on our biggest opponent is ourselves. We can't control if Concordia brings in a girl who you know, could be playing at Stanford. We can't control if Queens has a girl who's six foot four and has a 200 mile an hour swing. We can't control that. What we can control is how hard we work, how hard we practice, how hard we prepare, how hard we train, and how, how hard we fight um, for every point during a match. So I'm going to take Concordia and Queens off the table and say our biggest opponent this year is going to be, or our biggest challenge is going to be, you know, ourselves. And I think that if we bring our A game and give 100%, again, I would define that as a successful season. Do you have any other comments you'd like to make? Um, I'm really happy to be here in my first full season as a Ram. Um, it's, you know, again, one of my biggest challenges is time management, but as a, as a student athlete and somebody who did multitask, um, it's something that um, I'm looking forward to doing and, and I'm just going to get better at. And, I'm looking forward to getting on court with the women because I didn't really, again, have enough time to really get with them last season. Um, now I'm all in and, and, and ready to get the season started. We had our first full practice today, out on the track in the morning, out on the court in the afternoon, and I was really pleased with the effort, and I just can't wait to uh, get into the heart of the season and, and see what happens. All right, thank you. Good luck. Thank you.